Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today was a very bittersweet day in Long Beach. Uh, the reason being it was a very bittersweet day in Long Beach is that a young artist who grew up in Long Beach, raised in Long Beach, had his album released today. Yes. The sad part and devastating part is that he's not alive and not around to see it. Uh, he passed away seven weeks ago of a drug overdose. Uh, his name is Little Peep. Uh, he was a musician that had the world in his hands. He had a, a glorious future. Um, just a devastating story. And tw just 21 years of age. And his friends and family are celebrating his great work with his album released today. And to talk about more in detail about Little Peep and the album, I give you my videographer and co-producer, Rocco Pasifume. Thank you very much, guys. Um, unfortunately, 2017, for this particular, this was the incident that so many things have happened in Long Beach, and this was the one that was the most high-profile tragedy that happened in Long Beach. He died of a, as Howie mentioned, he died of a drug overdose of uh, opioid fentanyl. And uh, what happened was is that you know, he was on the rise as a performer. A lot of big people currently in the music industry were, um, you, know, you know, sharing their condolences and, and, and expressing their grief over his death. One person in particular is a hit maker by the name of Marshmallow. Marshmallow does electronic dance music. And um, uh, he has a very interesting place in the, in, in the scene, basically, because he basically... If, you could, if I could describe him to all of you, he's definitely like the Mr. Met of electronic dance music. He wears like a marshmallow for a head, so he has a very unique looking per, uh, stage persona. So anyways, he was co collaborating with, um, as many people in the music industry do, um, and one of the people that he worked with was Lil Peep, um, right before he died. And initially, he did not want to put out this single with, um, with Lil Peep on it out of respect for his family after they suffered their horrible loss with their son. But the mother insisted that he, uh, and everybody else who has still worked with um, Lil Peep, whose work has still yet to come forward, she wants every piece of work that he's done to be released. And luckily, that happened today. His uh, record premiered on the biggest morning radio show in the country of this region, which is uh, Elvis Duran and the Morning Show, which is it's surreal as somebody is a resident here to witness somebody from my town, this up and coming performer, get played on a big, big national level. So it's very, very possible that this could be, um, compared to um, his other body of work that has come out in the past, his past work was what I would call niche or very cult. You know, he had a very big cult following on Instagram and he shared a lot of um, what he was going through, particularly his problems with drugs. And so he put that all into his music. His music was like a fusion of hip hop and hard rock. And you know, this particular record that uh, he made, this record called Spotlight, definitely shows that he also was somebody who had a good knack for making a kind of record that could really take off. And, if uh, my young gentleman over here could uh, bring me to um, you know iTunes Store to uh, to share the record, just to, I'm going to play like a little piece of this record for you, just to get an idea of, of, of this. This is definitely the most radio friendly record he's put out, mm -hmm. and you know hopefully this could be a big hit. He's already had Marshmallow's already had two hits, one with an R&B singer by the name of Khalid, who's like a rising star, and then another one is an even bigger hit from Selena Gomez, who is most famous for being uh, Justin Bieber's uh, girlfriend. So, yes. So it just shows the, the kind of uh, level of talent that really respected this man and his talent. So I'm going to play a little piece of uh, his new single. It's from Marshmallow. It's called Spotlight, and take it away.
All right, so that's a little piece of the song. If anybody wants to purchase it, of course, it's on um, iTunes and all the places you buy music digitally. We have a little piece of it on the Halftime Howie Show page. And it's just really, like Howie said, this is very, very bittersweet because um, this could have been like the biggest single um, of his career because, I mean, it could still be a bit single posthumously, but it's just really sad that, that there's not going to be very much music out there for him beyond what he's already put out because he just started really blowing up and uh, it's just really, really, uh, like I said, it's just very, very bittersweet for um, Long Beach in terms of uh, the arts and um, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Thank you. Great job, Rocco.